this is the Gaumont British News, presenting the truth to the free peoples of the world. Infantry and armor, crashing through to establish a beachhead on the River Lawn, went forward in the dawn light. Back in Caen, there were joint celebrations by the people of the liberated town and the few British soldiers who had the chance to pause between battles. The Cross of Lorraine appeared on Patriot arms, and the trickler flew again beside the Union Jack. This place at last could celebrate Bastille Day without fear of reprisals. Now the cameras take us to the American sector by La Haye du Puy. Released for new battles by the fall of Cherbourg, our allies struck quickly down the west coast of the peninsula. An infantry regiment is entering La Haye under fire from snipers and 88mm guns. Counterattacks had thrown the Americans back from this place more than once, but by now it was firmly held. The advance could continue on the Germans' left flank in Normandy. Finally, 